It's IBC 2025. Uh, we are on the Atomos booth. I'm joined by Peter. Hi, Peter. How are you doing? I'm very good. How are you? Very well, indeed. Peter, we're looking at a new addition to the Atomos family, the Ninja TX here. Yes, we are. Um, give me some Give me some information. So this is the brand new latest uh, version of Ninja. This is the Ninja TX. It is the most powerful Ninja we've ever built. Okay. So completely re-engineered. We've spent over a year building this up. Um, it takes all the features that everybody loves about Ninja, all the monitoring tools, the recording features, but we've upgraded them. Okay. So now we've got a new recording media. We can actually go to CF Express Type B. So it's a small little card on the side right here. Oops. There we go. Okay. So you can go to CF Express Type B. You can also record to external USB drives as well. Right, so it okay. gives you more uh, recording options. Uh, and the other thing that's a big change is that we've also included all your SDI and HDMI inputs. So you no longer have to buy an additional back for the Ninja. It's all built in. So you've got 12 gig SDI in and out, plus HDMI in and out. And not only can it work as a loop through, but also a cross convert. So you can take SDI okay. in and get HDMI out and, and vice versa. Okay. The other great thing is it's also got the Wi-Fi stuff built in as well. So you've got automatic camera to cloud with Wi-Fi connection on the Ninja TX. So you could be recording RAW here and sending proxies up to Frame.io or Atomosphere, or you could even, if you've got more time, you could also slowly send RAW up to your, to your cloud workflows as well. Cool. And is this the same brightness of screen that we've seen before on the Ninja? Actually, it's slightly brighter. So the, okay. the previous version was 1,000 nits. This is 1,500 nits. So it's a brighter screen with more capabilities. And also, we've just added, showing uh, the beta version of the show here is camera control via the touchscreen as well. So all the okay. camera controls that we have on the Shinobi 2 are also coming to Ninja TX. Now, we've used our... Um, Ninja Connect previously, we had an Ethernet socket in the back, so we can, uh, I noticed this has got USB-Cs. That's right, yeah, so this doesn't have an Ethernet connector, but you can use a, a USB to Ethernet adapter, okay. and it'll work exactly the same way you had with the Atomos Connect before. If you need to do a hardware, sorry, a direct wired connection for yeah. the network, you can do that. And you've got multiple USB-Cs to, for external power as well. That's right, yeah, so we have three USB-Cs on the back, so one of them is power, and the other two you could use for like Ethernet, as you suggested, yeah. or a wireless microphone, or other accessories. Yeah, I mean, I picked one up earlier on and it's significantly lighter. And when you've got a field recorder on the camera, maybe moving it around, the weight's really important. Yeah, exactly. And that was the reason why we put a lot of work into this, you know. So we have also have the larger uh, Shogun, uh, Shogun Ultra product, mm. which has all the Wi Fi and everything built in. But for a lot of camera rigs, it's a little bit big and a little bit heavy. So we worked really hard to get all that stuff into the five inch form factor, also improve the recording media. We also completely redesigned the thermal so it was actually run quieter and cooler. So we're really, really, really proud of this. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think I noticed that this may be on the old version, so do tell me if I'm wrong, but to update the firmware, you can now update the firmware from just getting a connection to this, whereas beforehand you had to load it onto your card put the card in and do it that way. But this, this seems a much easier way to do it. Yeah, exactly. So we've actually implemented what's called over-the-air updates. Right, that's that, okay. So as long as you've got a network connection, you'll be able to, it'll yeah. tell you, are new, film, new software available? Would you like to update? Yes, please. Yeah. And it'll do it. So as you said before, on the previous models, you have to load it on the drive and then install yeah. it that way. So this is... So you probably don't bother and you get behind. And, <laughs> you get behind, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is really easy to do. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. So these are shipping available now? Yeah, these are available now. Um, so already available. Uh, obviously, the camera, uh, camera control will be an update later on and that'll okay. happen over the air yeah. Um, but yeah this is available uh, uh, worldwide as of, as of about a month ago yeah, yeah people that know and love your menu structure nothing's really changed on that, you, that, that all the menus are in the same place all, all the features that everybody wants is, is still there and you know we wouldn't want to mess with <laughs> all yeah. the features that everyone uh, gets used to every day and, and, and I, th I think I'm right in saying you, you no longer have to record to promos. If all, if all you want is H.265, you can just record H.265 now. Yes, you have all those choices. But also the great thing, and that was a fantastic announcement this week as well, is obviously we've been recording ProRes RAW from cameras for many, many years. That's now compatible with DaVinci Resolve. So we know yeah. a lot of people who like that workflow, um, they're really, really happy that they can record yeah. directly on their Ninja, go straight to DaVinci Resolve without conversion now. So that's yeah. fantastic. Got a lot of flexibility in there. A lot of flexibility now. Amazing. Yeah. Peter, thank you much indeed. Uh, we doing a couple of other videos here on the booth here, Peter. Do check those out and for everything else that we're doing at IBCS at kitplus.com.